So here are the top seven small business ideas of this year and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience and how I literally just used one small business idea to pull in $346,000 in net commissions. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so sign up for it now. So, back when I was working a job that I did not like for a boss that didn't actually treat me what I was worth, I did not want to do that for the rest of my life. You know, I saw my mom and my dad work like blood, sweat, and tears to make sure that me and my sister would live a better life than they did when they flew over from the Philippines to America. And they would work eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 16 hours a day over time just to make sure that we would have enough money. The craziest thing though is no matter how much time they traded for money, they never had more than like $2,000 or $5,000 in the bank. Now I was wondering why was this the case because they were always trading their time for money and you cannot become wealthy or create you know, happiness or ultimate freedom in your life by trading your time for money. If you look at the most successful people in the world, what did they do? Did they do it from jobs? No. The most successful people in the world did it because they created some type of business, some type of business that solved some type of problem or pain point, right? My only problem was I was like, okay, I want to become a business owner. I want to become an entrepreneur. And I started telling everybody my dreams and I was like, no, you're crazy. It, oh, businesses don't work. Just get a job. It's more stable. Oh no, don't do that. You know, my uncle tried starting a business and he failed and no one around me was successful in a business which is what made it really hard to become successful. It's like me getting advice from all obese people on how to lose weight if I'm trying to get a six pack. It just doesn't make any sense. So I had to go ahead and begin before we go over with any of the ideas. When you start doing these ideas and you start succeeding and you make your first $100 a day or $200 a day or $300 a day with your online business, with the profitable small business idea, right? I want you to promise me that you are going to use that money that you've made with my help to literally go and get into as many networks of, as possible of people where their reality is success, okay? That's what I'm doing right now, right? If people around me aren't with the same level of dreams as I am, I will always reinvest the money that I made with my small business idea into those groups to then push myself further, right? Now, what I wanna do is share with you my experiences of creating small business ideas and how someone like me, someone who's not the smartest person in the world, allowed myself to build multiple small business ideas, one going from like, for example, zero to eight grand in 30 days without having my own product, another one which was selling my own product, zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year. Another business idea went from zero to 35 grand a month right here and another business with no product and no service pulling in $346,000 in net commissions. Now, how did I do this? All of this was just accumulation of me learning a bunch of skills from the various small business ideas that I do. And this is the thing that you need to understand because you may start a small business and maybe fail, right? But it's not necessarily a failure if you acquired some skills in the process. And all I did, the only difference between me and you is I just failed more in so many different small business ideas, but I also learned more and added more skills to my skill stack that allowed me to become lethal when it comes to starting a small business idea because now I just have so much more reference experiences. Does that make sense? Uh, but remember, it didn't begin like this. In the beginning when I had no money, no time, and no experience and I wanted to start a small business idea, I needed to build my confidence, right? And if you're in that position right now, the first small business idea that you need to do is to just make sure that you could actually make money. Don't go for the riskiest thing. Don't go for the thing that's taking investor money. Don't go, go swinging for the fences because your first goal is to just getting some type of thing to pay you $100 a day profit, working only 15 to 30 minutes a day as like a side hustle, right? Before going all in business, putting all of your like, like savings in a business, just try seeing if you can make $100 a day profit. Why is that? Because for me, I understood this. If I can make $100 a day profit, working 15 to 30 minutes a day only, What's that gonna do? It's gonna free up my time. So if I depended on a job, I no longer don't have to depend on a job. Number two, it's gonna make me more money, right? Because literally it's on the side and now I don't have to worry about staying at a job and with more time I can think of more things. And with more time and more money coming in, I could then start going after bigger small business ideas that have higher paydays. Does that make sense? And you wanna safely build the foundation making $100 a day because think about it. If I'm making $100 a day and I'm a single male, and I live off of two grand. I literally have $1,000 a month that I could go ahead and think of small business ideas left and right and test it to see if it will work or if it will fail. 
And that's exactly what I did. So one of the first small business ideas that I did is so simple and so easy. I started making $100 a day very, very fast. It's just copying and pasting pictures from Walmart onto eBay. Just check this out. Three have been sold for a thousand bucks, but it exists on Walmart for $300 less. So what I would do in my spare time, if you were already having a business or a job, you could do the exact same thing. Copy and paste it from Walmart, throw it up on eBay. Copy and paste it onto Walmart, throw it up on eBay. Now, I remember posting one, just posting, because I didn't know if it was gonna work, I just posted it, right? And I forgot about it because I was busy. And I remember I accidentally left notifications on on my eBay app, but like several weeks later, I heard a cha-ching noise and I was like, what the heck happened? And it was like PayPal, $44. I was like, what, I just made money? And, and that's what increased my belief. Remember, I wasn't trying to make millions of dollars in the beginning, I wasn't trying to make six figures. I was like, man, if I could just get one sale and then $100 a day profit, it'll start building up my confidence, which is what this did. Now you can do this exact same thing, even take this gazebo thing, try it out, there's literally no risk. Now the second like small business idea, you can do the exact same thing by leveraging another business that's already making billions. What's that business? Amazon, right? Now, selling on Amazon can be very hard because when I started selling on Amazon, I had to go and buy products from China with my own money, send them over to Amazon, and hope and pray that I can make my money back within six months. Now you don't have to because with services like Merch by Amazon.com, you could practice learning how to go ahead and rank things on, for example, Amazon for free. Like how this works is you could essentially sell an infinite amount of t-shirts on Amazon for free at no cost to you. Amazon has all the inventory that you need. They'll do the shipping, handling, customer service, and they'll pay you royalties in passive income. One of these designs can make you $100 a month in passive income. And because it's free to go ahead and upload this on MerchByAmazon.com, why not just upload as many as possible, kind of like how I uploaded as many products on eBay as possible from Walmart. Does that make sense? And you can see how simple this is. All I need to do is just find things that people are searching for, put these words in the title, throw it up on MerchByAmazon.com, it goes onto Amazon. When someone buys on Amazon, they do all the hard work and I would just get paid for it and you could do the exact same thing, right? The third small business idea that you could go ahead and do is once you start making $100 a day, I would start then focusing on skills, right? Because think about this, when you're making $100 a day, now you have time, now you could have the time and the luxury of learning and educating yourself. Right, that's, when I started making $100 a day, I started investing in courses for like Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads. I started working for clients to maybe run their marketing and I started learning a lot of things. And you can see Google ads is a really good small business idea because Google ads paid someone like, for example, Steve B, $105 an hour and nearly a million dollars. Now this skill set is really good because maybe you might not want to serve clients for the rest of your life, but when you do serve clients, you learn from their budget. For example, I spend several thousands of dollars a day on you know, my advertising budget. Someone else manages it. They are learning by spending my money. So in the future, when they start their own business and selling their own products, they already have learned from my dime. So that's why it's like really good to you know, like become, a, like, like literally serve clients because you almost get mentored for free and get paid by seeing what's actually working behind their business. Does that make sense? And the next small business idea to learn, once you start getting good at marketing, what I did is I created my own e-commerce site, right? I literally went back to eBay and then went to Shopify, which is a place where you could create an e-commerce site very, very easily. And essentially what I did is I created a website based off of their free template, right? So I had a website up and running in 24 hours. I bought products that I thought would do really well, which was actually a failed business idea that I had from Amazon. I bought all these products from China, sent them over to Amazon, and they ended up failing. So I was like, heck, maybe because I learned Facebook ads and Google ads and YouTube ads, let me try selling it on my own website. I bought one of these products from eBay, shipped them over to my place, I took pictures with my sister, we threw up on our shop, I saw her, and because of the marketing that I learned from my clients' money, I started understanding how to actually do marketing. And that's when we scaled this small business idea from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year. But what a lot of people don't see are all of the other small business ideas and the skills that I've learned leading up to that. Remember, you only see the tip of the iceberg. The iceberg is very, very deep from the previous business models that I learned that I acquired skills in, right? And then when I started doing this like crazy, it got overwhelming because I had to do the shipping, the handling, the customer service. I was like, okay, there has to be a small business idea where someone else will do all of that and I'll just get most of the commission from it, right? That's literally when I found out about ClickBank and I accidentally went from zero 
to eight grand in 30 days with no product, with no service, without doing shipping and handling or customer service. And the beauty about ClickBank is you could see that people, like 1,100 people have made money with this in the past 30 days. You get over $150 commission and you could see that it's selling health supplements. Now this is like e-commerce. This is kind of like what I did with the grill mats and for example, Shopify, but now I didn't need my own website. I didn't have to process the orders. I didn't have to handle returns, nor I didn't have to do customer service. So it's essentially this business model, but easier. That's why I ended up leaving this business model that I made millions on in revenue. And I moved to this because it was more passive and it was more like I, I wanted more freedom. And remember the goal about a business isn't to spend more time in the business. I wanted to make as much money while working as little amount of possible. And to work as little amount as possible, I had to leverage existing resources that worked really, really well. Now, the moment I started doing really well with this, I was like, okay, well, can I do this with more expensive products? Why is that? Because think about this, right? When Elon Musk created Tesla, he didn't start with the $40,000 units. He started with the 100,000, 200,000 units. Why? Because there's more profit. What happens when you have more profit selling higher ticket products? You get more money to reinvest back in your business and then build it even more, right? Why do you think we were able to charge an extra $300 here when this is $700? Because it's already expensive. People find it harder to like distinguish once things are a little bit more in the expensive level that you could start adding more to increase your profit margin, right? That's why I literally started going to munchide.com and started to find like expensive products that I could sell, something like the Kibo Eclipse, because they go for $3,500 and I get 50% commission. So all of the products, I was only getting several hundreds of dollars commission, maybe $5 commission, $10 commission there. And I was like, okay, well, what's the next step? Well, obviously learning how to sell and market higher, more expensive things. And literally that was when I went from zero to 10 grand in 30 days, promoting a product that I did not have to create. Essentially how this works is these people will do a digital event. People in the digital event will go and attend. They will do a coaching for free on this digital event. At the end, they'll open up their coaching program. If people go ahead and invest in themselves, I would get 50% commission just by getting people to show up. Now, I literally took this method and went crazy with it because I was like, dude, I can do this for as many different people as I want. I can even partner with people and have them create the products and I don't have to do that. And that's how I pulled in $346,000 in net commissions. But I think the best small business idea of this year is literally what people in our community are doing to go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, like Dina, a stay at home mom at age 47 years old. If you want to know exactly what she did step by step by step by step, then sign up for this week's free workshop below. Check out this video and this podcast video. See you guys later. Woo!